jina la Bwana libarikiwe. Ni merudi tena hapa mchana huu kwa neema yake. Na ninaamini kila mmoja wetu ana furaha saa hizi. Tulipewa hilo atupasu kuwa na, na nyuso zisizo na furaha ndani ya nyumba ya Mungu. Hapa ndio mahali tunapaswa tuwe na furaha. Kuliko mahali pengine popote. Jina la Bwana libarikiwe. Kwa hivyo ninaamini tunatazama tu ili tuishi. Maana amenena mwenyewe. Na ninaamini kwa neema yake anaenda kunena tena. Tutakuwa na kipindi kifupi jioni ya leo. Kipindi ambacho uh, kinaendeleza ujumbe wa asubuhi. Na kwa neema yake ninaamini anajua jinsi ya kuunganisha. Na mshukuru sana mchungaji mwenyeji tena. Si ninajua kushukuru kuna kuna kunahitajika sana kwa sababu ndicho Mungu anachokitaka. Ya Mungu alishukuriwa na mtu mmoja kati ya tisa <laughs> akauliza swali wale wengine wako wapi? Ina maana angeshukuriwa na tisa ingekuwa shukurani kubwa. Kwa hiyo alikuwa wivu sana kwamba kuna mmoja tu katika hao waliotendewa mazuri amerudi. Mungu awabariki sana. Sasa kwa ajili ya muda uh, jioni hii ya leo naomba tuchukue Biblia zetu moja kwa moja na tukasome maandiko kama tu ambavyo tutaya ya nduguni second corinthians tano moja na mbili sindio ok tutaendelea kusoma tu kwa kiswahili nilizoya sana kutumia biblia ya kingereza na notes ya kingereza waliniharibu wenyewe walionialika huko ngambo na lugha ni moja kule jina bwana libarikiwe ila mimi ni mswahili mzuri sana. Tutaelezana Kiswahili cha kwetu hapa. Bwana Yesu abariki sana. Hebu kama tumepata basi hebu tuinamishe tena vichwa vyetu tuombe. Baba mpenzi bwana wetu Yesu Kristo. Tunakushukuru kwa wema wako, tunakushukuru kwa upendo wako. Tumeomba lakini tunajua kuomba ni bila kukoma. Nimefungua Biblia zetu e, kitabu ambacho tunaamini ni kitabu cha tofauti na vitabu vingine maandishi yaliyomo ndani ya Biblia yanaishi. Ungeyasoma leo, ukayasoma kesho, ukayasoma tena mwaka ujao, bado yasingekuwa maandishi ya leo leo. Yasingekuwa ni daily news. Kwa maana gazeti la kila siku linatoa maneno ya kila siku. Lakini hii ni Biblia ambayo umeweka neno lako ambalo ni wewe mwenyewe kwenye maandishi na tunajua tunaposoma unatokeza na ukitokeza unatupa kitu cha kupiga hatua moja kufanana na wewe. Jalie kwa kipindi kifupi ambacho tutakuwa hapa tuondolee uchovu, tuondolee hali zote za kutangatanga mawazo, tukae ndani humu, tukuone wewe, tukuabudu maana ni kusudi lako ulilotileta nalo hapa ni kukuabudu tu. Naomba haya tukikabidhi mikononi mwako kwamba tuna kibali cha kusoma maandiko haya ni katika jina la Bwana Yesu Kristo. Amen. Amen. Naomba usome wa Korinto 2 sura ya 5 moja mbili moja na mbili nitasoma katika jina takatifu la Bwana Yesu Kristo kwa maana tunajua kuwa nyumba ya maskani yetu iliyo ya dunia hii ikiharibiwa tunalo jengo litokalo kwa Mungu nyumba isiyofanywa kwa mikono iliyo ya mile kwa mikono iliyo ya milele mbinguni maana katika nyumba hii tuaugua tukitamani sana kuvikwa kao letu litokalo mbinguni Bwana ongeze baraka zake kwa kusoma kwa neno lake tuketi. Jioni hii nimechukua wazo dogo la kutiana moyo. Natiana moyo uh, na nimechukua kichwa kama nilivyokiita. Kama tulivyokiita God's purpose cannot be defeated. Kusudi la Mungu haliwezi kushindwa kamwe. Jina mali barikiwe. Makusudi ya wanadamu yatashindwa lakini kusudi la Mungu haliwezi kushindwa. Tuko kwenye nyumba iharibikayo. Nyumba ambayo ni udongo. Ukikuta wanafanya mazishi wanasema ulitoka kwa udongo utarudi kwa udongo. Kiukweli nyumba tunayojenga hii ambayo tunataka kuja kuingia humu ndani ni ya udongo na inachakaa hata tungeijengwa kwa marumaru kwa kila kitu itakaa miaka yake ya kutosha lakini bado itachakaa lakini kuna kisicho chakaa jina la bwana libarikiwe 
kama huu uharibikao umepewa uh, ahadi ya kwamba tunao uharibikao na utaharibika na Mungu akauandalia mwingine usioharibika ili huu uharibikao utakapotoka utakapoingia kwenye kuharibika kufumba na kufumbua tuingie kwenye huo usioharibika ninaamini nina 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 wazo la Mungu ina mali barikiwe kwa nini Mungu neno la Mungu ni wazo lililo elezewa wazo kwanza kwanza neno linakuwa wazo alafu hilo wazo likinenwa ndio linakuwa neno na linakuwa tu neno kwa sababu ni neno hai likinakuwa tu neno likimpata muhusika katika wakati husika na majira husika likatoka likiwa ni ahadi alafu likamkuta aliyeahidiwa alafu akalipokea alafu likafanyika mwili alafu likatembea na miguu fulani hilo linakuwa ni neno lililo hai neno la Mungu linapumua praise god ni barikiwe Amen. sio maandishi kama haya tunayosoma na ninataka kuwatoa hapo sasa hivi kwa dakika hii Amen. tutoke kwenye maandishi kwa sababu maandishi ni maandishi na yanazungumzia hilo neno lakini lazima tulipate hilo neno ambalo hayo maandishi yamelileta. Neno si maandishi. Andiko huua. Lakini roho huisha. Jina bani barikiwe. Haya maandishi yana roho. Na tunachokihitaji hapa kwenye maandishi sio kujua kusoma, sio kujua kuyaelezea. Maana mtu wote alienda shule anaweza kusoma hata kama sio Mkristo. Lakini sasa kuna kitu hapa ambacho kinaitwa neno kwenye haya maandishi. Na Mungu anakusudi na kusudi la kuandika hapa halitashindwa. Kusudi la Mungu kamwe haliwezi kushindwa. Jina la Bwana litukuzwe. Amen. Tumesoma hayo maandiko na ninamshukuru Mungu kwamba uh, neema yake ingali kwa pamoja nasi ikituongoza. Bwana Yesu awabariki. Amen. Um, hmm, sawa. Tafuta pa kuingia. Oni okay, kioke. Okay. Tumekuja jioni hii, tumekuja hapa. To gather our hopes. Kukusanya matumaini yetu. Kila mtu aliyokuja hapa amekuja kwa kusudi fulani. Na kama huna ni kutafutie. Maana ukikaa hapa bila kusudi, kwa nini umekuja hujui? Utaondoka bila kupata kitu. Kwa lazima umekuja hapa ukiwa na kusudi. Na hilo kusudi lisiwe la kwako. Liwe ni kusudi la Mungu kwamba limekuleta hapa. Mungu amelileta makusudi. Hili ni neno la Mungu limeandikwa katika Biblia hii yote. Ni Mungu alinena kupitia watu, lakini ni wazo lake. Alitamka ikaandikwa. Sasa leo nataka nikwambie haya maneno aliyoandikwa hapa yote. Haya. Yanapaswa yaje yawe ni wazo lako. Kila mmoja unalo lisoma ambalo ni ahadi yako liwe wazo lako. Alafu ulitamke. Ndipo liwe lako. Kwa hiyo kuna kutamka wapendwa. Kuna kutamka hadi yako, kuna kuitambua hadi yako na kumwambia shetani hii ni yangu. Huyu ni mtoto wangu umenizulumu. Mrudishe. Naambi tafadhali shetani mrudishe. No. Unatumia mamlaka kwa sababu una wazo ambao unataka kulifanya neno na neno ni la Mungu tu. Neno ni mbegu na hakuna mwanamume yote chini ya mbingu hii ambaye ana mbegu. Haleluya. Hakuna ni Yesu Kristo peke yake. Sisi wote ni mki, ni wanawake tu. Jamani barikiwe. Lakini yeye ndio mwanaume peke yake. Akinena yeye ni neno. Kwa hiyo sisi hatuzungumzi. Tukiwa mimbarani hatuzungumzi, tunanena. Kuna kuzungumza na kunena. Jina bwana barikiwe. Na mazungumzo yanaweza yakawa ya shakala bagala yanaweza kawa vivyoote vile lakini neno la Mungu lina principle kwamba ni Mungu ananena ameshaahidi kwamba hiki ni cha kwake na ni cha leo kinanenwa. Sasa nimesema hapa God's purpose cannot be defeated. Kusudi la Mungu haliwezi kushindwa kamwe. Kule mpango wa Mungu ambao ameupanga kamwe kamwe hata shetani awe na pembe za namna gani hawezi kumsimamisha Mungu. Amen. Kutimiza kusudi alilokusudia. Amen. Na sasa nikisema 
somo langu ni nini nitasema this moto must put on immortality mwili huu haribika lazima uvae mwili wa kutokuharibika hivi unafikiri tukivaa kutokuharibika tutahitaji haya majengo amen haya majengo tunayahitaji kwa sababu sisi ni jengo liharibikalo ndio yeah. barikiwe na tunatembea kwa, ma, kwa muda na ni wakati na tunahesabu siku zetu jina la barikiwe ndio maana tunasema mavumbi 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 na nini lakini Mungu hakutuumba tufe Amen. hii shida iliingia kule bustani Eden yeah. nilisikia jana mtumishi wa Mungu akisema Edeni kule Mungu alikuwa na Edeni na watu wanafikiri Edeni ni bustani ya Edeni Edeni ni, ni, ni mji kabisa ni jiji ambalo mashariki ni mashariki kwake kwa hiyo Edeni ndio ndiko kulikuwa kuwa na bustani ya Edeni kwa hiyo ukiingia Edeni hujaingia bustani ya Edeni na ukienda bustani ya Edeni kule kulikuwa na mti ambao uliwekwa mtu akila asife sawa lakini shetani akaja akaingiza shida na shida ilipoingia mtu akazuiwa sasa kula mpaka Adamu wa pili aje ambaye ni roho ashukaye kutoka juu akaazima ili box ambayo tumelisoma hapa kwamba tuna mwili uharibikao lakini nataka nikwambie huyu mwanaume alishinda na huu mwili unaoharibika usifikiri hakujaribiwa ufikiri kwamba hakukutana na, ma, na mambo ya kutisha ambayo yalimsumbua alifika mahali wakati anaenda kufa kwa ajili ya kukukomboa wewe akafika kwenye kile kikombe akakitazama akasema baba ikiwezekana kikombe hiki kiniepuke akakumbuka alikuja kukinywea akasema kwa sababu nilikuja kwa ajili ya hiki basi mapenzi yako yatimizwe nataka niwaambieni tuna mahali pengi pa kusema baba mapenzi yako yatimizwe tukiwa na miili hii naenda kulileta vizuri tu kulileta kwenye jengo letu bwana yesu awabariki sana amen so um, amen house the house ile nyumba praise the lord watukuzwe amen we come such a, uh, this this evening tumekuja jioni ya leo to gather our hopes kukusanya matumaini yetu some new hopes matumaini fulani mapya of what we are here for kwa yale ambayo tuko hapa kwa ajili yake and what is the purpose na kusudi nini and i think nafikiri that this is a wonderful time huu ni wakati wa ajabu sana to think on the hopes kuwazia kuhusu matumaini that god has given us ambao mungu ametupatia now we want to draw this first hasa nataka kuleta ili kwanza into our mind kwenye nia yetu there is not one thing that can destroy us hakuna chochote kile ambacho kianza kutuangamiza until the purpose of who he who created us mpaka ile kusudi la yeye aliyetuumba has been made fulfill limetimizwa there could be nothing hakukusingwa na chochote kile we are made for a purpose tumetenge tumefanywa kwa ajili ya kusudi and god did not make you and i na mungu aje kufanya wewe na mimi just to see if he could do it ili tuone labda angeweza kufanya hivyo he made us for a purpose alitufanya kwa ajili ya kusudi therefore hivyo there is a purpose kuna kusudi of us all being here. Wa ya sisi wote tukuepo hapa. You are not here. Hauko hapa just to be another human being. Ili tuwe mwanadamu mwingine. You are here. Uko hapa because that God made you for the for the, for some purpose. Kwa sababu Mungu alikufanya kwa ajili ya kusudi fulani. You are not here just to sit. Hauko tu hapa ili uketi. Praise the Lord. Mungu atukuzwe. Or to eat the, the food that God growed. Au kula chakula ambacho Mungu alikikuza. You are not here just to live in the house. Hauko tu hapa iliishi kwenye nyumba that man made. Ambao Mungu mwanadamu ameifanya or to wear the clothing au kuvaa mavazi that someone fashioned. Ambao mtu fulani aliunda. You are here. Uko hapa for a specific purpose. Kwa kusudi maalum. No matter how little you are. Haijalishi wewe mdogo kiasi gani. How big you are. Au mkubwa kiasi gani. How important you are. Au muhimu kiasi gani. How unimportant you are. Au sivyo muhimu. You are here. Uko hapa to serve the purpose. Uko hapa kutimiza kusudi. Remember that. Kumbuka hilo. We are in this building. Tuko kwenye jengo. 
this building Hiljengo, now sasa it is serving the purpose linakutimiza kusudi lake because we built this building kwa sababu ulijenga lijengo for us to come in ili sisi tuingie hapa ndani na kumwabudu Mungu wetu so now this building ni lijengo is fulfilling linatimiza the purpose of god na kusudi ya Mungu praise the lord mungu atukuzwe so we are not create we are not building we are not building this building i see atujie ili lijengo so that you can can be seen ili liweze kuonekana or show the others kuonyesha wengine that you have building kama tumejenga na sisi tunalo kanisa church building jengo la kanisa we have building this tumejenga hili because kwa sababu there is something kuna kitu fulani that god need ambacho mungu anahitaji from us kutoka kwetu and by having this building na kukuona hili jengo we are going to fulfill tunakwenda kutimiza the purpose of god kusudi la mungu that god brought us here for ambalo mungu alituleta hapa kwa hilo kusudi brothers and sisters ndugu na dada you are here uko hapa to worship him kumwabudu yeye na ni hivyo tu praise the lord mungu atukuzwe you are here uko hapa you will wonder utashangaa that god brought you here kama mungu alikuleta hapa to serve him kumtumikia and that's only na ni hivyo tu He left from heaven. Aliacha mbingu. He left the angels. Aliacha malaika. The big angels. Malaika waku. The seraphims. Maseraphim. Cherubim. Na makerubi. Praise the Lord. Mungu atukuzwe. They know how to worship. Wanajua jinsi ya kuabudu. They know how to honor him. Wanajua jinsi ya kumheshimu. They know how to say hallelujah. Wanajua jinsi ya kusema hallelujah. But they he left there. Lakini aliacha pale. And he came down. Na akaishuka chini. Because of you. Kwa sababu yako. And because you are here. Na kwa sababu uko hapa. In this building. Ndani ya jengo. To worship him. Kumwabudu yeye. He must come down. Lazima ashuke. To fulfill his Utimiza kusudi lake. No devil. Na hakuna shetani. Can stop God. Anaweza kumzuia Mungu. From doing that. Ili asifanye hivyo. He said, alisema, my words neno langu cannot come out of my uh, my mouth. Alizo kutoka kinywa langu bure. It must serve. It must do the purpose. Lazima litimize kusudi lake. So his word even neno lake may come to you. Lazima likaje kwako. It's judgment. Kama hukumu. You are, his word neno lake may come to you. Lazima likaje kwako. It's blessing. Kama baraka. Praise the Lord. Mungu atukuzwe. It depends Yatigemea. when you came here. Ulipokuja hapa. What the hope? Ni tumaini gani? That you heard. Ulipokuja nalo. When you are coming here. Ulipokuwa unakuja hapa. Me myself. Mimi mwenyewe. I came here. Nilikuja hapa for, to, to, to gather the hopes. Kukusanya kusema matumaini of that god yakile mungu is going to bless me anakwenda kunibariki going to heal me anakwenda kuniponya going to raise me anakwenda kuninunua is going to give me something anakwenda kunipa kitu fulani that will show the world ambacho inaonyesha ulimwengu that jesus christ kwamba yesu kristo is the same yesterday yeye yeye yule jana today and forever leo na hata milele Christ Christo promised that Aliahidi he would be here. Angekuwa hapa. And he said I have many things to tell you. Na kasema nao mengi ya kuambia. But you can't bear it now. Lakini namuzi kwa tuchukua sasa. When the Holy Spirit. Lakini wakati Roho Mtakatifu. The comforter. The yule mfariji. The guide. Yule kiongozi. When he comes. Ajapo. He will take from mine. Atakutoka kutoka yangu ya leo yangu na kuwapatieni. Let me ask you. Mbona nikuulize? What day? Ni siku gani? That God would come. Ambacho Mungu ambapo Mungu atakuja? The Holy Spirit. Kama Roho Mtakatifu. The Comforter. Ni kama Fariji. Tell me what day? Niambie ni siku gani? He came here. Atakuja hapa. He get the body. Akapata mwili. He went to Calvary. Akaenda Calvary. He preached the gospel. Akahubiri njili. He went everywhere. Akaenda kama mahali. With the disciples. Akaenda na wanafunzi. But he went to the Calvary. Lakini akaenda Calvary. Went to the grave. Akaenda kaburini. He raised up. Akafufuka. And he go up. Na akaenda juu. And he promised. Na akaahidi. He will come again. Akaja tena. And he will be with us. Atakuwa pamoja na sisi. Tell me when day? Niambie ni siku gani? What day? Ni siku ipi? God promised that he will come as a comforter. This day is that day. Amen. Blessed be the name of the Lord. You know my brother. Jesus Christ was God. But people couldn't see God and live. Praise the Lord. So he was here. He was God. Because all of God was poured into Jesus. But there is a promise. Lakini kuna ahadi. That Jesus kwamba Yesu plus God inside. Yumesha na Mungu ndani yake. Alijimimina into the church. Ndani ya kanisa. When? Lini sasa? Praise the Lord. Mungu atukuzwe. It must be this day. Lazima ni siku hii. There is no another generation. Hakuna kizazi kingine. There is no anything coming up. Hakuna kingine kijacho. This is the end. Hii ndio udo mwisho. So we thank God. Kwa hiyo tunashukuru Mungu. For this building. Kwa hili jengo. For this for this roof. Kwa hili pa. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We are inside here. Tuko ndani hapa. Because God wants his service. Kwa sababu Mungu anataka ibada yake. Praise the Lord. Mungu atukuzwe. And we are here. Na tuko hapa. And we are ready. Na tuko tayari. To give God service. Kumpa Mungu ibada. Just imagine. 
wazia tu in heaven kule mbinguni angels malaika they know how to worship wanajinsa kumwabudu mungu the, the scripture says maandiko yanasema they are taking their crowns wanatupa taji zao praise the lord okay and bow na ku na ku sujudu na ku sujudu holy takatifu holy takatifu holy takatifu but god lakini mungu can't see anything there haku hawezi kuona chochote kile pale Praise the Lord. Mungu atukuzwe. But you, lakini wewe, because God, kwa sababu Mungu, God, Mungu, when he was creating you, alipokuwa alipokuwa anakuumba wewe, not angels, sio malaika, you, wewe. He said let us made man. Akisema akisema natufanye mtu in our image. Kwa sura yetu. It means, yamaanisha God, Mungu, and you, na wewe, are the same. Ni kitu kile kile. When he was creating anything alipokuwa kitu alipokuwa naiwe let there be naiwe let there be naiwe but when he come to you lakini alipokuja kwako say let us make man natufanye mtu in our image kwa sura yetu and what is the image of god na sura ya mungu nini do you know the image of god jo unajua sura ya mungu let me tell you ngani mwambie eli ela elohim eli ela elohim is the spirit ni roho is that true je hiyo ni kweli and before na kabla eli ela elohim El, el, Elohim God created anything kabla hajaomba chochote kile he created himself alijumba yeye mwenyewe logos logos is god ni mungu because everything kwa sababu kila kitu that happen that comes kilichokuja when you see trees unapoona miti you see everything unapoona kila kitu it came from logos kilitokea kwa logos not from el ela elohim so, so el ela elohim after god creating elohim baada mungu mungu yakuumba yakuumba elohim which god which brother branham said is the word ambayo ndugu branham anasema ni neno the body of the spirit ule mwili wa, wa roho praise the lord mungu atukuzwe now god sasa mungu become word akafanyika neno and spirit na roho pia and he said na akasema there has made man na tufanye mtu in our image kwa sura yetu So the man the mtu, that God created was the word neno, and the spirit pia. and that is why you are receiving the word Napokea neno The word is the seed neno ni mbegu You can't receive God Uwezi kupokea Mungu if you are not the seed Kama usio ni mbegu not in him Kama hukua ndani yake You can't receive him Uwezi kupokea yeye You can't be reborn Uwezi kuzaliwa tena If you are not there Kama hukua pale Praise the Lord Mungu atukuzwe So I believe today Hivyo naamini leo Hallelujah Hallelujah You are in heaven Ulikuwa mbinguni And you have come here Na umekuja hapa Now you are on your way Sasa kujani mwako Back to heaven Kurudi mbinguni Praise be to God Mungu atukuzwe amina So he is here now. Hivi kwa hapa sasa. And he want you to worship him. Na anakutaka umwabudu. And that's why we are building. Na ndio maana tunajenga. We want somewhere. Tunataka mahali fulani. Where we can stand. Ambapo tunaweza kusimama. And call upon our God. Na kumwita Mungu wetu. So we are here for a purpose. Hivi tuko hapa kusudi. No devil. Hakuna shetani. No demon. Hakuna pepo. No hell. Hakuna kuzimu. Can stop you. Inaweza kuzuia wewe. From going to heaven. Kuhusiana mbinguni. Kwa nini? You are there. Ulikuwa pale. Let me tell you again. Kwa nini kuambia tena? If you are not there Kama uko pale you will not go there Puta ina pale Jesus say Yesu alisema I come from God Nataka kwa Mungu I'm going back to God Narudi kwa Mungu And unfortunately Na kwa bahati mbaya Jesus Yesu is the only one Ndiye pekee who is going to be in the rapture Ata ndiye atakaye kuwa kwenye unyakuo The only one man Na ni mtu mtu pekee That is going to the rapture Ana kwa unyakuoni You are not going to be in the rapture. Wewe utaenda unyakuoni. It's Jesus. Ni Yesu going to be in the rapture. Ningetaka kuwa unyakuoni. Praise the Lord. Mungu atukuzwe. So if you had this word, kama kama una neno, you must find your place. Lazima utafute mahali pako. Find your place. Tafuta mahali pako. If you want to be there. Kama unataka kuwa kule. Jesus is the head. Yesu ndiye kichwa. You are the body. Wewe ni mwili. When he is going, he can't leave his body here. Hayezi kuacha mwili wake hapa. He will go with his body. Atenda na mwili wake. And it is you. Na ni wewe. The one that came from God is Jesus. The one is going back to God. Na narudi kwa Mungu ni Yesu. But he will not go until 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 hadi until hadi until hadi he have got you. Amekupata. And you have 
already got you my friend because the, the message of Malachi 4 is the message of Eliezer to come to marry you to, 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 to engage you to take you from this earth to make you relax you are going to relax now you will leave the business of this earth and you will go home and you can call heaven is your home now you can say I am a stranger and passer praise the Lord I came from heaven I am going to heaven glory to God so we are here and some sometimes I told the people we are we, we, we are we are here but one day we we'll move from here like an arrow you see me today tomorrow is not praise me. the Lord I will not knock any door. Sita gunga mlango wote ule. Say, now I'm going to heaven. Hasa nena mbinguni. Bye. Bye. No sir. Hapana bwana. It's the word of God. Nena mungu. That is preparing me now. Nena niandaa mimi sasa. When I be ready. Nena poko tayari. Perfect. Mkamilifu. Adopted son. Maana alipo pa mamlaka. The daughter of God. Binti alipo pa mamlaka. The time when it's come. Wakati japo. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We live here. Tutaacha tunaroa hapa. Without the world knew anything. Bila ulimwengu kujua chochote kile. The world will know will, need, will never know. Ulimwengu hautajua kamwe. That we've left here. Kama tumeshaondoka. They will find one day. Watagundua siku moja. In your house. Nyumbani kwako. Is empty. Ni, ni, hakuna kitu. Hakuna mtu. And they will say. Na watasema. They were saying someday they are coming they will go they will be in the rapture they will go to the rapture maybe Labda. <laughs> praise the Lord but let me brother say you let me tell you uendi kubaki hapa au uendi kunyakuliwa au ufike mahali bila kujua yani sikiliza kuna neno la mungu lina tu farigi sana nasema Mungu kwa, sa, kwa sababu yeye Bwana anakuja kama mwivi ajavo usiku na kuiba na kuondoka na hakuna mtu ajua atajua na hakuna mtu ajua ingekuwa mtu anajua ile saa ambayo mwivi anakuja asingelala angekesha ili apambane aweze hata kuzuia mlango wake usivunjwe lakini ajui hivyo ndivyo mwivi anavyokuja na yeye anakuja hivyo alafu anaondoka na anaondoka na mtu wake jina bali barikiwe. Mliwahi kusoma hayo maandiko? Je, mliwahi kuendelea pale chini? Anasema hivi, bali ninyi ndugu hamo gizani hata ile siku iwapate kama mwivi. Mimi nakuja kama mwivi sawa, nakuja kuchukua watu wangu lakini ninyi ndugu. Hamo gizani hata ile siku iwapate kama mwivi. Sasa hilo linatosha kunifariji mimi kwamba hata akija nitajua. Amen. Jina bali barikiwe. Eh, anakupasha habari kabisa anakuja. Nakuja. Alafu anakuja kama mwivi. Eh, eh wajavu usiku. Yeah. Anachukua mtu wake. Eh, kwa hiyo Yesu ni mwizi, sio? Kuja kuiba bibi harusi wake. Yeah. Na hataki mtu ajue. Yeah. Kwani ukiibia ulimwengu ni shida? Alafu unaibaje mali yako? <laughs> yaani unaenda unaiweka, alafu unakuja kuiba, sio? Wewe ni mali yake. Amen alikuweka hapa anakuja kukuchukua anasema anakuja kama mwizi lakini ninyi ndugu yani unajua hii kuitwa unajua kule kwetu tunaitwa wa ndugu <laughs> kanisa la wa ndugu hey, wanatusomea huko bali ninyi ndugu ambao gizani hata ile siku iwapate kama mwizi amen sasa nikiwaambia mimi ile siku naijua simtanishambulia hapa sasa hizi sasa kusema we 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 Yesu alisema ajui Brana alisema ajui wote waliokuja walisema hawajui sasa we unajuaje sasa acha nikwambie wala bwana majasema hajui ni wewe unasema alisema sawa eh wewe ndio unayesema alisema kwa sababu ndugu bwana alisema hivi siku yako ya kunyakuliwa siku yako ya kuondoka siku yako ya kukamilisha kamilishwa ni ile ulionayo amen sawa kesho hujui na nini we unajua tu ilioko hapo kwenye ulionayo anasema hiyo ndio ya kwako amen sasa unaishi kama unaondoka leo sasa sijui siku bado haya yesu alisema sijui sawa eh lakini akasema dubrana mwakaja akasema yesu kristo alipokuja hapa na mwili alikuwa nabii 
na nabii ana mipaka anasema hivi asema anasikia kwanza kwanza ndipo anasema sasa ana, ana, amekuwa limited hawezi asemi kila kitu ye ana, 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 anaambiwa sema nabii anaambiwa sema Yesu alipokuja hapa alikuwa nabii hakuwa nabii si ndio akakaa hapa akasema hivi asema bwana hivi nasema ni bwana amesema ni Mungu amesema sisemi lolote isipokuwa kwanza baba amenifunulia <laughs> si ndio lakini nakuuliza swali baada ya kifo chake pale Calvary akafa akazikwa siku alipofufuka alifufuka nabii sasa wewe umekutana na Yesu akiwa bado hajafa msalabani au umekutana naye akiwa tayari ameshafufuka kama alikuwa hajui mengine kwa sababu ya unabii na kwa sababu ya hiyo limited ya nabii sasa ametoka kaburini anakutana na wewe sasa maana msalaba ndio unaokuokoa wewe kwanza kuna siri ambayo Yesu hajui baada ya kufufuka na kuna mtu anaweza kumuua tena baada ya kufufuka sasa huyo ni nani huyo sio Mungu sasa wewe umekutana na Mungu sasa jina la barikiwe umekutana na Mungu kwa sababu wewe mataifa hujakutana na Yesu katika hali ya mwili hakuja kwako kwa ajili kwa hali ya mwili Akuja, alikuja kwa Israel na kwa Samaria na walikuwa wanangojea masihi aje lakini masihi wako wewe alikuja baada ya kufa na kufufuka baada ya kupokea kutoka kwa baba yale ambayo alikuwa anasema sijui ndio akakutana sasa na wewe Uwezi kumficha mkeo siri. Uwezi kumficha mke wako siri. Yaani utawaficha watu wote lakini mke wako utamwambia zote. Mimi nimeitwa bibi harusi vya kutosha. Sasa hivi ni mke wa mtu. Nimeolewa mwenzenu na pete mimi. Kwa nini utaitwa bibi harusi mpaka milele? Si bibi harusi anafika anaolewa anakuwa mke. Sasa mamlaka ya mume nani anakuwa nayo? Hey, Bibi harusi hawezi kuwa na mamlaka ya mchumba, anakuwa anategemea kuenda kupata mamlaka ya mchumba. Hey, Lakini akiolewa hata jina linabadilika. Hiyo. Anachukua jina la mumewe. Hey, anayo mamlaka sasa ya mumewe. Amen. Ukikutana na mimi mekutana na Yesu. Yes. Na hakuna siri linafichwa. Kwa hiyo najenga chumba changu na bwana wangu. Hiki ni chumba hiki. Tukae naye huko ndani. Tuambiane yote. Ukiniambia hakuna siri, kuna siri tena mimi nitakucheka. Kwa sababu umeshajua kwamba Yesu Kristo alipokea kwa baba yale. Hivi ufunuo unaitwa ufunuo nani? Ufunuo Yesu Kristo aliyepokea aliyepokea kutoka kwa baba. Kwa mkono wa Yohana. <laughs> Nasikia anapokea kwa mkono. <laughs> ili huo funua amepokea ni wa kwake lakini ili afanyeje awapatie wake <laughs> ampatie mkewe yani huo funuo ni wa kutupatia sisi ameshinda lakini ushindi wenyewe anatukabidhi ushindi ni wake sisi ndio washindi hakuna mahali tunashindana sisi jina mwani barikiwe vita ni vyake ushindi ni wetu Na namshukuru Mungu Israeli wanaume ndio wanaenda vitani. Eh. Hey. Tako dada, dada vitani amesuka nywele. Sasa si watamninginiza. Haleluya. Na dada usicheke hata mimi ni dada mwenzio. Mbele ya Yesu Kristo mimi hapa hakuna cha mwanaume hapa. Hapa ni dada mwenzio. Sisi ni mke wa mtu. Lakini ukicheza mchezo na mume wangu utakutana na yeye. Na ukinigusa tu utakutana na Unajua kule kwetu kuna sehemu kule juu kabisa wanasema nitaisema kwa kiluga njipaya mioko akukombe maana yake nini niguse mimi wangu akulambe yani kuna wanawake wanaziringa na waume zao <laughs> yani akiwa anatembea ametoka sokoni na baka pulake anatembea anambia hey dada anasema we niguse mume wangu akulambe sasa wewe usiporinga na Yesu hivyo utashangaa na Yesu ana wivu huyu mwanaume ana wivu huyu Hivi kuna mwanaume ana wivu kama Yesu. <laughs> Ukitaka kujua ni kweli korofisha. Utaelewa. Jina la Bwana libarikiwe. Karibu na Maliza, si naenda kidogo tu eh. 
Inamani barikiwe. Amen amen. Kwenye nirudi hapa nisome kidogo alafu nisiende hilo tawi. Hilo tawi ni refu. Nadhani kanipeleka mbali. God did not make you and I. Mungu hakufanya wewe na mimi just, just to see that Il, he can do. Ili aone kwamba anaweza kufanya. He has a purpose. Ana lokusudi. And that purpose. Ana lokusudi is to worship him. Ni kumwabudu yeye. Jamani tunajenga huu mjengo kwa sababu gani? Amen. To worship him. Kumwabudu yeye. Basi. Amen. Niambie kingine wewe unacho. Unataka kulima mahindi ulete kanisani? Una, unaleta nini kwa Mungu? Unamlipa nini? Unampa nini zaidi ya kumwabudu? Zaidi ya kumpa ibada? Amen. Anataka ibada tu ndicho alichoacha mbinguni wapendwa. Mbinguni kule hakukua na kitu kingine. Yeah. Kulikuwa ni kuabudu tu. Yeah. Kama malaika nyinyi hamjui kuabudu nyinyi. Yeah. Hamjui kusema Mungu ni rehemu. Malaika arehemiwe nini? Aliwe kukosea nini? Hamjui kusema ni samee Bwana. Hamjui kusema Bwana sirudi tena. <laughs> kwa neema yako nishikilie bwana yani hiyo ni ibada ya nguvu sana jina la mali barikiwe haya nikuulize kabla ya adamu kuanguka kulikuwa na ibada bustani ile nini si ndio ilikuwaaje ilikuwa ni mungu anashuka anashuka kule bustanini aita damu adamu kwa sababu hawa alikuwa ni anaitwa ni adamu na adamu alikuwa ni aitwa ni adamu kwa sababu hawa jina hawa lilitokana na hawa kuanguka akaitwa hawa hawa ni mama wa wote wenye mwili wa yule muovu na huyu wa Mungu kwa hiyo hilo jina hawa lilitokea hapo lakini wote walikuwa naitwa Adamu akifika bustanini anakaa hivi kuna watu wanaabudu wakiwa wamekaa wanakaa alafu wanakula ushirika wanakula ushirika wanapata ushirika vipi ah upepo ulivuma upande huu sana nikaona naangusha miti yangu hapa ya kivuli nikamwambia wewe upepo tulia ushirika amen kwa bustani ni kulikuwa ibada ni ushirika amen sasa Mungu anataka kuturudisha edeni amen. Mungu anataka ushirika amen kwa hiyo lazima tumwabudu tumwabudu tumshushe amen Akishuka unafikiri akishuka hapa tunaendelea kufanya kumwabudu. Nasema hivi tunakula ushirika na yeye. Unaongea na yeye kama unaongea na ndugu yako hapo pembeni. Amen. Unamweleza shida zako anazitatua na wakati huu atakuwa amezitatua kabla hujamweleza. Amen. Kama hujui. Yaani Yesu afike hapa bado shida unayo. Akae na wewe hivi afu na shida inakusumbua. Yaani akija tu zenyewe zinakibia. Amen. Kwa hiyo tunataka Edeni. Amen. Tunataka kurudi Edeni. Amen. Kwa hivyo ndio maana tunatafuta namna ya kupata hichi kivuli Dio. Mungu atusaidie Amen. ili tuweze kufanana na yeye Amen. turudi kule Adamu alikopotea turudishwe tena upya kwa Adamu wa pili ambaye ni roho ashukae kutoka juu Amen. atugeuze mioyo yetu ageuze miili hii jina maana barikiwe Amen. tukienda Edeni tutakuwa hapa lakini tuko Edeni tuna enjoy tuna burudika na neno la Mungu jina la bwana libarikiwe natamani mimi nikitaka kumuona gamali nikiwa dar es salaam nisipande basi basi ya nini basi wapande makabila haleluya mimi nasema tu nataka kumuona gamali najikuta sumba wanga tunakula ushirika na rudi zangu da na mnafikiri ni maneno tunaongea ni neno la Mungu na mnafikiri ni ngumu kutokea inatokea Mungu sio muongo Jina la Bwana libarikiwe Mimi ninampenda sana Mungu kwa sababu Mungu hakopeshwi Yaani ukimwamini ukatenda yale amesema yeye anafanya hapo hapo Hadaiwi Yaani madeni mtutadaiwa mpaka tukome Lakini si Mungu Na kama utaki madeni mlete mkaribishe Na mwingizaji hapo ndani amini neno lake tafakari neno lake usiku na mchana ndugu leo natafakarije hata mimi nikiwa naendesha gari yangu sometimes nikipata matatizo fulani kuna matatizo yalikuwa yanaisumbua ya pressure kitokea tu hali nasikia hiyo hivi naleta neno naanza kutafakari nasema Mungu hakuna kufa wewe ulisema sisi utaishi wala hatutakufa na ukasema kwamba kwa, kwa, kwa sababu wewe unaishi na sisi tutaishi sasa ibilisi anantia hofu analetea sisi kitu gani hapa afu nasahau nilikuwa naumwa nini Hakuna tena hicho kile. Yaani kimeondoka bila kujua kimeondoka. Nakuja kumaliza tafakari. Sijui hata saa ngapi ilikuwa ilikuwa imetoka hiyo imeenda saa ngapi. 
jina la Bwana libarikiwe. Afu na Mungu huwa anaruhusu vitu. Wakati mwingine na unafikiri Mungu anakutandika na kuchapa. Mungu mpaka akuadhibu <laughs> ni shida. <laughs> yani ufanyie Mungu kitu mpaka aamue kukuadhibu ni tatizo. <laughs> Mungu anaweza kumfanyia vibaya kabisa alafu akakuacha tu. Akakuangalia tu. Alafu kaja kuuma hujamfanya hujakosea hata kitu. Hakuangalia <laughs> 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 hapo. Watu wanasema sema Unaona alimwambiaje Ajubu? Ajubu umetenda dhambi. Haiwezekani uumwe kiasi hiki ndugu. Mtumishi. Mtumishi wa Mungu mwaminifu namna hiyo unaumwa. Kweli? Hapana bwana. Kuna dhambi umetenda. Na walikuwa wanamwambia hivyo ni ndugu zake. Ajubu anaanza kujipekua, akaangalia sadaka mpaka ametoa mpaka ya watoto wake, akaangalia hizo kona, akaangalia. Na ni vizuri kujikagua wapendwa. Vizuri mjikague kila wakati. Na kujikagua hutakuta huna kosa ila utasema Mungu ni rehema. Makosa ni yetu wanadamu lakini lakini si Mungu. Kama Mungu aliishi kwenye ule mwili wa kwetu sisi na hakutenda kitu chochote. Na ile ndio ilikuwa hekalu la Mungu. Na sasa hivi tunatengeneza hekalu. Haleluya. Ambalo tunaamini tunakuja sisi tukiwa tumebeba huyo Mungu, tunamleta Mungu kanisa. Yaani Mungu hawezi kuingia pale mlangoni pale. Nimewaambia asubuhi. Wewe ndio unamleta hapa. Amen. Sasa ngoja nikwambie na ole wako uingie kwenye mjengo wetu bila Mungu. Tulete Mungu. Sifunge milango kule nyuma bam mmeoko umekosereshana naye mke bam nakuja kanisani mnakaa upande mmoja nakaa upande mwingine nakaa upande huu chungaje na ubirafu mnaangaliana nimekaa Neno natoka pa nasema hilo lake hilo Natoka pa nasema na hilo lake yani paka ibada inaisha wanapeana yani wanagawana wanagawana neno <laughs> Lete Mungu hapa Sisi tunataka mkiingia hapa roho anashuka hapa hapa nafurika muhudumu anashindwa kuhudumu Jina la Bwana libarikiwe ah, Yaani nafikiri kwamba ninasema hayo labda mimi siwezi kukutwa ah uh-uh. ah nini mkipata shida huko malizeni mji huko mmesha mali Jamani sasa tujenge jengo tusijenge watu wamekubali <laughs> tunataka jengo tuje sasa kuabudu Mungu sisi Jina bali barikiwe. Hantu kinje nishike chepe kabisa muelewe kwamba tunajenga au. Hayo maana unaweza kusema tunajenga watu wasikuelewe, wasikuelewe kwamba unajengaje? Mbona umekaa mimbarani? Kishika chepe labda mtu anaweza kusema sasa serious. Najenga serious. And when the soul leaves this bo- the body. Na wakati mwili nafsi iwachapo huu mwili. It takes its journey into place of rest that is in the form and the shape of this body but it isn't this type of body you will meet your loved ones praise the lord amen you couldn't shake the hand the hands usingeweza labda kutikisa mikono yao na nini kama tunavyotikisa hapa sasa lakini kama kule kuna ya kutikisa lakini sio kama wanavyotikisa hapa you could talk to them ungeza kuzungumza nao you could look to at them ungeza kutazama they look just like they do here wanaonekana tu kama kama wanaonekana hapa kama walivyokuwa hapa walivyokuwa wanaonekana cause when peter and john kwa sababu wakati peter na yohana na yakobo so moses and elijah walikuwa mwana musa na elia they recognized recognized them waliwatambua on the mount transfiguration kwenye ule mlima kuuza sura but it is the body lakini mwili praise the lord mungu atukuzwe so we are building this building hivi tunajenga hii jengo is there a building there Je kuna jengo kule? Praise the Lord. Mungu atukuzwe. Hivi kule kuna hitaji kuzuia jua? <laughs> Praise the Lord. Amen. Kwa tunajenga jengo tutalifanyia kila tunachoweza kulifanyia lakini ile jengo upande wa pili huenda likaenda au lisiende. <laughs> Jamani barikiwe. Hapa kuna nguvu inaitwa gravitation. Force, nguvu ya vutano sawa na unataka uwe na imani yani hapa ninavyoongea nataka uwe na imani perfect perfect fee imani kamilifu nikirusha hichi kitambaa juu kitaendelea kwenda juu au kitarudi chini nini kinaileta chini nguvu ya uvutano kuna mtu ana mashaka hata kidogo kwamba kitarudi chini si nguvu ya uvutano inasema wazi na ndivyo ilivyo kwamba nikirusha hivi au nikiachilia kitaenda chini Sidio. 
Kwa hiyo imani hiyo inaitwa imani kamilifu. Perfect faith. Imani kamilifu ya gravitational force ya nguvu ya utano. Ina mali barikiwe. Haya, kitambaa nenda. Kimeenda wapi? Chini. Ni aibu na ni aibu sana kwa mtoto wa Mungu au binti ya Mungu kutokuamini kile neno la Mungu limesema. Neno la Mungu lina nguvu ya uvutano kama vile hiyo nguvu ya gravitation ilivyo na nguvu ya uvutano na ina nguvu maradufu ya hiyo mara ma millions ya hiyo na ndio maana Yesu alipomaliza na huu ulimwengu akawaambia ulimwengu wewe ulimwengu sasa huna kitu kwangu Amen. wewe ni kila maharage nitaishi na nisipokula maharage nitaishi ni kila chakula nitaishi na nisipokula nitaishi nguvu hii kamkataa kwa sababu hilo neno lina nguvu kuliko hiyo akainuka kutoka hapa nani chini akaenda 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 ni nguvu ya uvutano ilimkataa maana hana kitu na huu ulimwengu praise god amen unapaswa kuamini wewe sio wa hapa mpaka dunia hii inakukataa sio wewe unaikataa hii ulimwengu unakukataa na mambo ya ulimwengu yanakukataa na ukitenda jambo ambalo alifai ulimwengu unakuambia mbona unafanya hivyo Ukiwaambia mbona ninyi mnafanya nasema lakini wewe hustahili kupaswa kufanya hivyo Jina la Mwana alibarikiwe Hapo ndipo ujumbe umekuja kutupeleka Ujumbe umeletwa kuja kutufanyia hiyo Jina la Mwana alibarikiwe na hakuna ujumbe kama huu tangu kuumbwa kwa hii dunia. Hakuna. Jina mali barikiwe. Jumbe zimekuja tunajua mashujaa wa imani Moses mshujaa Elish Elia kina nani wanazuia mvua wanasema mvua usinyeshe kuanzia sasa hivi mpaka nitakaposema kwa neno langu mimi sio kwa neno la Bwana kwa neno langu mimi mvua. Hao ni mashujaa lakini hawajapata kuishi wakati kama tunaoishi sisi. Nikukutana na mwanasema ungemleta unge nabii yoyote yule au mleta kina Paulo na nani uwaulize waonyeshe ulimwenguni siku za kuishi hapa duniani zinafafanana na jinsi Mungu anavyofunuliwa hapa na nguvu ya Mungu inavyotenda kazi hapa. Alafu kamuuliza mtu wewe ungependa ukienda duniani uende wakati gani? Angesema wakati huu. Lakini wewe na mimi hatukuchagua wakati huu. Mungu ametuchagua sisi tuje tuishi wakati huu ambao siri zote za Mungu siri zote kila kitu Mungu anakunguta kapu lake Jina la Bwana libarikiwe Tunapaswa tumwabudu Mungu mpaka iridhishe ionyeshe kabisa kwamba mmeelewa yani mmetambua kwamba Mungu amewathaminisha kiasi gani Jina la Bwana libarikiwe Mitume walikuwa wakubwa sana waliandika kitabu cha matendo ili ikifanyweje ili sisi tusome lakini we unaandika kitabu cha matendo nani aje asome sisi tunatakiwa tuandike kitabu cha matendo lakini nani aje asome kitabu chetu cha matendo kinaandikwa kwenye vibao vya mioyo watu wote tukiwa hapa wanasoma yani watu wanasoma wanatusoma sisi kwa maisha ya Yesu Kristo maana tukiondoka hakuna tena hakuna historia yetu inakuja kusomwa sisi. Historia yetu nasomwa tukiishi. <laughs> story yao our story. <laughs> Tunatembea na yeye inasomwa. Soma historia yao kusoma historia yao natembea. Hapo <laughs> zamani za kale ndugu Rio alikuwa hivi afu natembea sasa yeye alikuwa zamani za kale. <laughs> Hizi ndio zamani zetu. Amen. <laughs> Na Mungu anabarikiwe. Zamani zipi zingine? Hizi ndio zamani zenyewe. Na uliwahi kujua kwa mataifa kuna Mungu anatuhudumiaje? Israeli kuna watu wamehesabiwa kabisa na sasa hivi kuna 1.4000 wale 1.44000 ambao wamebakia na wanafa, wanaenda kufuatwa. Hmm. Lakini Mungu akija kwetu sisi kututawala sisi anatutawala kama mtu mmoja mmoja individuals kibinafsi binafsi. Kwa sababu mtu mmoja huko kwa mataifa ni nation taifa. Yaani sisi ni taifa la Mungu. Yaani wewe ni taifa la Mungu sio sisi wewe ndio taifa lenye Mungu anataka mtu mmoja Amen. Kwa nini asiwe wewe? Amen. 
Mungu ahitaji kundi huku. Anataka mmoja. Kwa hiyo ukiwa ni wewe ni wewe. 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 Hakuna mwingine. Kwa hiyo unaishi kwenye ulimwengu wako baba. Na unaamua unachotaka kwenye ulimwengu wako na hakuna mtu anakusogelea. Hata jirani hawezi kusogelea. Mbona leo umeomba sana usiku? Ni amani barikiwe. Hiyo ni ya kwako. Mungu awabariki sana. Sogee kidogo eh. Kidogo tu. Tulifika hapo kwenye mwili unaacha nafsi. E, nafsi inaacha mwili. Ikitoka ikitoka ukitoka kwenye huu unaingia kwenye ule mwingine. Na utakutana na wapendo wako. Bwana Yesu awabariki sana. Amen. Yeah, life is real. U, 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 uzima ni halisi. Life is earnest. Uzima ni tarajio. Arabuni mnaita. Arabuni. And the grave is not it is goal. Lakini kaburi sio lengo lake. Yeah, mwili huu mwili huu unaouona huu pamoja na kwamba ni wa mavumbi. Lengo la huu mwili sio kaburi. Sio uende kaburini ni ubadilishwe. Ubadilishwe. Amen. Na nakwambia mnaweza mkaabudu tu mkajazwa roho mtakatifu. Yaani mnaabudu tu kuna kitu mnafanya hata mjaubiri hata mjafanya nini mnaabudu mnatafakari mnasifu mnaabudu mnasifu Mungu anashuka na wajaza na Roho Mtakatifu. Kwa sababu kuabudu hakuko tu hapa kuko hata mbinguni. Yeah. Na Mungu anapenda hiyo. Amen. To worship. Kuabudu. Praise the Lord. Amen. Okay. For dust thou art to dust returnest was not spoken of the soul. Hiyo haikuzungumzwa kuhusu kwa 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 nafsi. Amen. Yeah. They call it a theophany. Wanaita umili theophany. Yeah. That when we live here, kwamba tunapoondoka hapa, we go in somewhere else. Tunakwenda mahali pengine. Whatever it may be, popote itakapokuwa, take the apostles word. Itahitaji neno la mtume. When he said, aliposema if this earthly tabernacle or dwelling place be dissolved wakati maskani hii ya dunia hii au nyumba iharibika hapo we have one already waiting tayari tuna nyingine moja tusubiri to move from this into that kutoka kwenye huu kuingia kwenye ule but when the son of god died lakini mwana mungu alipokufa the life that was in him uhai ulikuwa ndani yake was none other but god haikuwa mwingine isipokuwa mungu mwenyewe to come back and adopt us kurudi na kutufanya wana into the family of God. Kwenye familia ya Mungu. And now we are children of God. Na sisi ni watoto wa Mungu. The life from his blood. Uzima uhai kutoka kwenye damu yake. Praise the Lord. Mungu anatukuzwe. Tuna change sisi. Na tunakuwa mwana kama tulivyokuwa mwana kutokea kwa baba zetu. Wewe ni damu ya baba yako. Wewe ni DNA ya baba yako. Na sasa tuna change kwa neno la Mungu kwa kuliamini tunakuwa na DNA ya Mungu. Amen. Sasa hapa hakuna kupita dirishani. Hapa ni lazima uende kwa mchakato. Yeah. Na ni lazima uende kwa njia Mungu aliyoiandaa ili upite. Amen. Na namshukuru Mungu sumba nani hapa hapa Tunduma mmewazia kuweka jengo ili kuwapa watu uhuru wa kutembea na Mungu wao Amen. bila shida ya aina yoyote. Amen. Unataka kuniambia tukiabudia nyumbani au tukiabudia mahali pengine haitoshi hapa fanani na hapa yeah. hapa pamewekwa wakfu kwa ajili ya wewe kuja na ukija hapa lazima Mungu atatimiza ahadi yake Amen. unaweka nadhiri zako pale na ukija hapa unamkutana naye maana mmeagana hakuna kiumbe mwaminifu kama Mungu ukiagana naye hapo Unaambia Bwana nikija hapa usiniache. Ukaweka tu hapo hivyo. Jina Bwana barikiwe. Alafu kaondoka ukiwa unaamini. Sio una matumaini. Una imani. Kwamba ulichokisema umeongea na Mungu. Mungu anakungoja saa yoyote. Hata uje usiku wa manane. Hata uje saa ngapi. Haitaji mhubiri awepo mimbarani. Utafika hapo utakutana naye. Jina la Bwana litukuzwe sugia kidogo hapo. Waliwita Theophany. 
But when the son of God died, the life that was in him was none other but God. To come back to you. And now we are children of God. Now notice quickly. I'm going to finish as we follow. When back in the Old Testament and those who believed and worshipped and died in the faith waiting for that time. The reason those prophets did not that did that and wanted to be built in the Palestine buried, buried in Palestine they knew that the resurrection was not going to be in Egypt. It was going to be in the Palestine alone. Praise the Lord. I want to say something here when we are finishing. There is a first resurrection and second resurrection. The first resurrection is, is for those who are going to be in the rapture. The bride of Jesus Christ. But the second one is the general resurrection. Praise be to God. So I believe our brethren that went to be with the Lord they are going to resurrected they are going to be resurrected in the first resurrection and we that God will meet us alive will be changed and together with them we will go to the air to meet our Lord praise the Lord so I believe Today Leo, is that day siku, that God said, At that day, siku ile, you shall know mtajua. that I mean my father. Kwa mimi ni baba, father in me. Baba ndani yangu. I in you. Mimi yenu, and you in me. Na nye ndani yangu. At that day. Siku ile, siku ile, which day? Siku ipi? This day. Hii siku. Today Leo, is that day. Ndio ile siku. I can't stand here mapa, and tell the people watu, there is a day coming. There is no day coming. This is the last one. The day that Jesus was speaking about with the disciples is this day. Praise be to God. So I am here and believing that that God is here and I am in him and him in me. Nimalize. Mitume walikuwa na Yesu wanamtazama. Siku moja akawaangalia. Ni <laughs> watu bungoja kwanza ni waangalia hivi ni watikise kidogo. Akamwambia nienda kwa njia mnaijua. Alafu baba mnamjua. Alafu tena mmemuona. Na unajua gani lakini kwa sababu ukiona Mungu unafanyaje? Unakufa kasema yani huyu jamaa kama kuna siku ametuhubiria kitu cha ajabu ni leo. Wengine walipanga kasema yani tukitoka ibada hii si kanyagi tena hapa. Tuzi kukana kichaa kanisani mchungaji kichaa. Walita crazy. Hatuwezi. Haya. Kanongeneza na nongeneza na uko. Kerere moja akatokeza. Sema sasa sisi kwenye ndako hatujui na njia hatujui sasa baba tunamjua jeona ah, mbona alafu nasema baba tunamjua atuelewi mambo haya akawatazama watu wote akawaambia hivi ninyi mmekaa na mimi siku hizi zote alafu kwa sababu ufunuo wa kundi ulishaisha akamjeukia mmoja Filipo akamwambia alafu wewe Filipo hunijui Yaani ninyi mmekaa na mimi siku hizi zote alafu Filipo wewe hunijui. Hii <laughs> ilikuwa sio ya kujua ya kujuana ki, 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 kikundi. Ni kumjua Yesu ni mtu binafsi. Wewe Filipo unasema hunijui. <laughs> yaani wewe ukiniona mimi umemuona baba. Sasa akakaza macho amuone baba kwa Yesu alafu akamwambia au hujui kwamba baba yu ndani yangu alafu mimi ndani ya baba akavuruga tena 
Yaani huo ndio mruo wa saba unavyojifunua hapo. Amen. Yaani mruo wa saba brother ni mdada anakuja na tumbo amepata anaoja uzito. Afu akutana huyo mwanaume si Yesu na nani mwingine. Afu mdada mwanzake anamwambia naomba hapo. <laughs> Namba hapo hiyo mimba. Hivi dada unaweza kumgawia? <laughs> samani tumechanganyika mkutano lakini nataka niwaelezeni hicho kitu kinavyokuaga ni ya mtu binafsi kumjua Mungu ni uzima wa milele kumjua yeye ni eternal life life eternal uzima wa milele jina mbani barikiwe na nabii anakuambia eh anakuambia uh, seven thunders gurumo saba and the seventh seal na mule ule muru wa saba they are entangled they the, are like Unafahamu ile kamba ya ngombe nani wanafuga ngombe unajua zinavosukwa. Yeah, zimesukana. Sasa muri wa saba na, na ngurumo saba ndio zinasukana namna hiyo. Yeah. Uweze kutoa hapo muri wa saba uwaje hapo ngurumo. Ah. Uweze kutoa hapo ngurumo uwaje hapo muri. Amen. Sawa eh? Amen. Jamani <laughs> yeah, barikiwe. Amen. Kwa hivyo mimi ninachokiona leo ni kwamba Mungu anataka kukushughulikia wewe na sio kundi lenu. Amen. Uwe tayari majira ni haya. Na Mungu awabariki. Amen. Makofi mengi kwa Bwana Yesu Kristo. Mabeni tumshukuru Bwana. Mabeni tumshukuru Mungu. Wangapi wamefaidika na mkutano huu? Mimi binafsi najisikia kubarikiwa sana. Eh kuna mambo yaliyo 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 nijia moyoni baada ya mahubiri haya kanijenga vizuri sana sana na mimi nafurahi na nichikia vizuri kuwa miongoni mwenu na ningekosa mkutano huu ningekuwa nimepata hasara sana ya mambo mengi kwa hiyo nimefaidika sana na mkutano huu na Mungu awabariki mtumishi wake ndugu yetu na mzee wetu wa thamani mzee Orio Mungu akubariki sana mzee na Mungu azidi kutumia zaidi tunafurahi tunashukuru kuwa pamoja nawe na Mungu kutupea sisi wewe tuinamisha vichwa vyetu na mioyo yetu Baba tunakushukuru sana sana kutupa vyombo vizuri vyombo vilivyopakwa mafuta na wewe vilivyo chini ya huduma ya Nabii Pranam huduma kuu uliyotuma duniani kipawa kikuu ulicho kituma duniani nacho kina kipawa hicho kina mirija au matawi mbalimbali ambazo tunajua ni huduma tano kuendeleza ujumbe ule ule Mungu yule yule nguzo wa moto ile ile neno lile lile ufuno ule ule tunakushukuru bwana shara zile zile maajabu yale yale asante bwana kutupatia vyombo hivi baba tunakushukuru isinge uwezekana katika hali yote kugawanya mwili wa prana uenee dunia nzima bali roho mtakatifu aliyekuwa ndani ya prana Amenea dunia nzima akivaa vyombo mili mingine kuendeleza ujumbe ule ule. Baba tunakushukuru. Baba asante kwa yote umetutendea tangu tulipoanza mkutano huu jana na leo hata na kesho utakuwa pamoja nasi. Tunakushukuru. Tuko hapa kwa kusudi moja. Baba tunapotazama jinsi ya kuweka we, jiwe la msingi tunaona hasa jiwe la msingi kiroho ni nini tunakushukuru bwana Yesu wewe ndio jiwe la msingi kwa jengo hili kisha wewe ndio jiwe la kifuniko tunakushukuru bwana lakini hata kwa mazingira ya kawaida ukaona uweke jiwe la msingi katika mazingira ya kawaida kaashiria mazingira ya kiroho tunashukuru bwana tusaidie kukujengea nyumba mahali nyumba zako za kiroho zitajikusanya baba tunakushukuru umetuonyesha hikaru halisi ni nini ni nyumba isiyofanyika kwa mikono kanisa lako mwili wa asili wa Kristo 
ambao ni wateule wako baba tunakushukuru hao wateule wana mili ya kibinadamu na hiyo mili ya kibinadamu inahitaji mahali pa kujihifadhi ili wapate utulifu waweze kukusikia waweze kukuabudu hivyo bwana Mungu pesi tunaposhirikia mambo ya kawaida huku tukishirikia tena mambo ya kiroho tunashukuru kwa yote umetutendea kwa ibada hii umetupa ufahamu umetupa akili na ufahamu jinsi ya kutenda mambo haya tusaidie tuyatende vizuri vyema zaidi tujuavyo jinsi ya kutenda kwa utukufu na kwa heshima jina lako Mungu tubariki sisi sote bariki mchungaji wa kanisa hili mtumishi wako ndugu yetu wa thamani mbaye wazo hili lilimjia kwamba kuna kuweka jiwe la msingi baba bariki kanisa zima kwa ujumla shemasi wa dhamini wasaidizi wake wote na kanisa lote wa dada na wadugu wazuri wanakupenda ona ulivyotutoa madhehebuni ona ulivyotuleta malipa zuri ona unavyotufundisha vizuri asante asante kwa vyombo ulivyoviandaa kuendelea kumfundisha bibi harusi wako vizuri jinsi ya kutenda vizuri baba asante kwa yote tunajikabidhi kwako tukiomba uendelee kutubariki na ibada iliyoko mbele yetu kesho na tukio la kuweka jiwe la msingi ukatubariki kwa matukio yote utusaidie na utuongoze jinsi ya kufanya tunakutegemea wewe roho wa Mungu utufuvie utuongoze tutende vyema vile ambavyo nabii alitenda hatukuona kwa macho tunasoma tu kwa maandiko tunahitaji roho wako aje atusaidie kuyatenda katika jina la Yesu Kristo tunaomba na kushukuru amen